Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel in case you're new here. Hi, my name is Babasha and welcome to the Slay Squad. So on today's video, actually today, I have a photo shoot and I just missed you guys. So I thought I'd take my camera out and uh, take you guys with me through my day. Okay, well now we're doing makeup. That's why I have my eyebrows on. And honestly, I have been struggling with my eyebrows. Like last month, I cheated on my eyebrow person and went and got my eyebrows done by a different person. And then I didn't really like it because like they were uneven. So I tried fixing this one and then I pulled too much hair out. So it's been struggle nation with my eyebrows and they take way too long. So that's why those have already been done try to make them as even as i can <laughs> so now we're just going to do the rest of our makeup i guess yeah so when i'm doing photo shoots i go for glowy like i like my makeup to look very very glowy and also i go for something natural or at least as natural as a full face of makeup can look because you know i'm going to do um pictures with different outfits and I want them to look as if the pictures were taken on separate days not on the same day so that's why I don't go to um, like out there with my makeup but generally I feel like I'm not really an out there person with my makeup anyway <laughs> I've talked for so long let's start doing the makeup so first I'm starting the fix plus this is something recent in my makeup um, collection and in all honesty i feel like this is um double the price of the mario badescu rose water and if i'm being very 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 honest i've not seen any difference like if you give me the rose water and i use it and this and i use it i wouldn't be able to tell you which one was which it was blindfolded apart from the smell of course so um i like my face to look <laughs> I'm doing this kiki and yeji. I have a bucket in here that has all my makeup stuff. So that's what I'm looking into. So I usually like to focus more on skin and more on getting the glow. So for the prep of my skin, I'm going to start with a primer. This is a Master Prime Illuminating Primer. Like I said, I like to glow. <laughs> so that's what we're going to be using first. And I'm usually generous with this like i use it with kindness so i don't know if you can see already like the areas where i have applied it you can see my skin looking a bit illuminated because i hate when i do my makeup and then i feel dry i really really don't like that feeling so for the Maybelline primer, it just makes your makeup illuminated. I really don't think it makes it last long. So for that, I go in with this other primer. This is the Super Stay Primer, like the name suggests. But it's really, really like liquidy. So I just put a few drops on my hand and apply it to areas where my makeup tends to move. Like over here on my smile lines and underneath my eyes. The smile line struggle is a struggle for us guys who are always smiling, always laughing. So yeah, the makeup really turns to like get into my smile lines. I think one of the secrets to having um, your makeup look really nice is figuring out what works for your base. Like if you have oily skin, you might not want to use this illuminating primer because it's really going to make those oils <laughs> appear you want to go for something a bit more mattifying so for foundation i'm going to be using the fit me matte and poreless in the shade 356 typically most people would go for something with more coverage if they're doing a shoot but i really like that natural look so this foundation is awesome if you like to wear makeup but you don't want it to look like makeup on the other hand if you prefer like the more coverage and um if also you might have some acne scarring or dark spots that you might want to hide the super stay for maybelline might be a better fit for you you see how it just looks very very skin like i like that look so um i usually have uh, darker eye circles where they're not really that bad if i'm being very honest but it's the one spot on my face that is much darker than the rest of my skin so i just like to go in with a bit of concealer 
to brighten that area this is in the number 55 so i use this first and then i go in with a lighter color this is the shade 40 just on the inner part just to brighten it up a bit then for a slight contour i go in with um the shade number 60 and just do a line there a line here i'm not really going to contour my forehead because um it makes the white baby hairs look brown and i hate it so i'm just going to bronze over there i'm not going to use um the concealer i'm just going to blend everything in so after you've done your highlight and contouring it's really important to go back in on the edges with your foundation brush and just use whatever product might be left on there to blend the edges so that the makeup is just seamless you know there's no brightness here and then suddenly your normal foundation color and then suddenly a contour so i just like to make everything very seamless I can spend hours blending I swear. <laughs> also another trick is to have like a handheld mirror and hold it really close to your face. It just makes you see the makeup a lot better and also no one is going to be this close to your face. So if your makeup looks nice this close to your face then it looks good at normal people distance. So I typically don't bake. I've actually not done it in a really really long time because I have dry skin and like I said I don't like my makeup to look dry. I mean the baking will look really nice and it's on camera and I have like my lights even for the photography it can look really really well but I mean it can look really nice. But then in person, sometimes you'll find people and their under eyes just look really, really dry. It's because of excessive baking. So I tend not to do it. I mean, I know I've said it looks nice on camera and I'm going for a photo shoot. But then, I don't know, I'm going to be seeing people in person and I don't want them to think I'm looking crazy. So I'm just going to take a bit of the Sasha powder and instead of baking, I'm putting it on a brush and literally like tapping out <laughs> almost everything and that's what i use um just to uh, to set right here where my eye can tend to crease i'm just going to put right there so that's just going to make sure that my under eye concealer is not moving around without drying it out too much i think makeup gets really interesting when you figure out what works for you like you can try my exact same routine but it just looks very different and off on you so practice practice with different um uh, what do they call different products watch different people and try out different techniques combine different techniques together because then you find out what works for you you'll be just so happy so like i said we're chasing the glow so i use a cream highlight so it's by maybelline in the shade dark gold so because you don't apply cream products before powder you want to do this as a base for your highlight before you do um your powder I just put on some of it there and I use a brush or my finger. Actually, let me use my finger first. And just blend it in. So I think that step gives you that glow from within. So if you're not really a highlight person, you can try the cream highlight and then you set your face after. So you won't have that glitteriness of the highlight but underneath your powder your skin will just be looking very glowy to set everything in place i'm going to be using a maybelline fit me matte and poreless powder this is in the shade 355 cinnamon and it has refused to open okay there we go and as opposed to to like brushing it on I'm just going to press it into the skin then to bronze I'm going in with my sleek powder this is in the shade wood smoke if I'm not wrong and I'm just going to apply a tiny bit on my forehead 
just to give it i'm so sorry about that <laughs> so just to give it a bit of life and to bring back some light into my face and then again on my cheeks and on my jawline so because i'm not going to go in with any um eyeshadow i'm just going to use the same bronzer and like put it on my crease and i don't know if you guys have seen but tree has come out with new bronzer shades and i'm just sitting here like this take my money take it all <laughs> oh i can't wait to get my hands on those bronzers then still on the powdered products we're going to add a bit of blush this is the blush that i'm using it's called la femme or that's what it had in the number zero five i got this from super cosmetics a really really long time ago and i feel like blush is one of those things that you don't have to spend a lot of money on like a really expensive blush versus one that's cheap now look the same so now that we're done with all the powdered products, I'm going to set everything with my Fix Plus and I'm literally just going to drown <laughs> my face in this Fix Plus. So before the Fix Plus dries down all the way, we want to go in with our highlight. The highlight that I'm using is the Master Chrome in the shade molten bronze it's a really really subtle highlight like if you've never seen someone wearing highlight you'll just think oh my god her skin is literally glowing <laughs> from the inside the good good glow we're going to do um liner this one is the colossal one so i'm just going to do very lightly my waterline then for mascara, I have two different ones from Revlon. This one is a volume amazing, like volume plus amazing. And this one is the ultimate all-in-one. So this one is like black, black. And that's how that tip looks like. So this is what I use for my upper lash line. then for my lower lash line i use the other one the ultimate all-in-one by revlon and it's actually a dark brown color i just use it for my lower lash line because as you can see the brush tip is really really small and i struggle with messing up mascara on my lower lash line so this tip just makes it a lot easier to use and for my lip color i'm going to go in with my everyday shades so first I use this lipstick right here by Revlon in the shade 015 Seductive Sienna. So I just start by putting this on. I'm not even normally neat with it. Like I just get it on there. Then I follow it up with a gloss. This is the Fenty Beauty Fenty Glow. I just do that. And blend the two together i should have actually done this later because i'm still going to eat but it's already done <laughs> yeah so for my makeup bag i'm just going to carry my lip gloss a powder brush and the powder in case i start getting oily and my setting spray in case i just start feeling funny and dry so yeah now we're ready i'm just need to go iron a few clothes and then we can head out so i'll show you guys this glitter thing that sam got me a while back and excuse my room <laughs> it's very messy so it's like a brush with glitter inside so you press this end and it removes glitter onto the brush and then you just make yourself shiny 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 it's not as shiny as like the body lava but i don't know if you can can you really okay that's a lot of glitter but it's not picking up in the the camera but yeah it just makes you look very very shiny i think i'll try and show you guys when i go outside but if you can see like those tiny specks there yeah that's them she know so we are on location about to start the photo shoot and introduce you guys to the people i am with here today linda you mind being on the vlog? Uh, 
No, you mind being on the vlog? No? Yeah? She's Linda. Hi! The lighting is even off. Wait, this side. <laughs> yeah, there you go. That is Linda. Hi. And this is the photographer, Nash. Wave. Hi. <laughs> 